Thank you. All right, so I'm gonna teach you today how to make a complementary color scale. First thing you have to do is mix the color and its complement. Um, this is pretty much a purple, but obviously this, um, this purple needs red in order to be this color. So purple plus a little bit extra red. So I'm gonna do that first to mix my first color for my complementary color scale. And I'm gonna use fire red, because that's the closest to like a true red that we have. And um, a little more purple than red. Mix it up with a palette knife. I would suggest that you might as well use two palette knives for this because um, because then you don't have to stop midpoint and clean a palette knife. And mix it till it's homogenous, until you've matched your paper color. Okay, needs a little bit more of the purple. And then next, I'm gonna mix the color that I saw on a burnt image in my white piece of paper. I don't have to, however, use that technique. I could also use the color wheel to see what color is across and opposite of my first paper color. But when I saw the burnt image, I'm gonna mix the color that I saw. This is not easy because you have to remember or keep staring at your piece of at this paper on your white piece of paper. Stare like this, remove it, and continue staring at your white piece of paper to get that burnt image. It's your second palette knife. Mix up that burnt image that you saw. Or the color that you figured out technically by looking at the color wheel. Next, I'm going to grab the same piece of paper that I used for my other scales. Voila. And create a complementary color scale. And the way I'm gonna do that, if I have two large um, piles of color, I'm just gonna separate the piles. So I have a smaller pile to work with. Because for a scale, I really don't need a lot. So this is gonna be my mix-in pile. When you're mixing paint, you always wanna mix the dark color into the light color. So here I go. Once again, I'm just gonna touch my palette knife in the dark color. and blend it into my light color. This is the first, or rather the second step of my color scale. The first color is gonna be the light color, straight on the piece of paper, and try to apply it as thickly as you can so the white paper doesn't change the color underneath. This is the second color. And this is the third color. And I just keep going from there, getting darker and darker until I get a brown or a gray. That brown or gray is called a neutral. And um, if I can use Allegra's painting as an example, there are many neutrals in that painting, but you'd also look at that and say that there are many bright colors. Neutrals are nice because they give you a rich painting and they give your eye a break. If you get darker and darker with your color and you don't like it because 
you know, as you mix your colors. Ew, that's gross. That looks like, well, you know what it looks like, grossness. Consider this. <laughs> Putting some white with it. And look what happens. This is like the magic of color. You start with this color that's like, ooh. And this is why we use, this is why we learn how to do tints and shades as well. If you make it lighter, which you don't have to do this for your scale today. Right? <laughs> you get a nicer color. See how that happens? So some of the magic of color, really cool, thank you.